good afternoon everyone so today i'm going to teach you the some uh, organic chemistry some basic uh, uh, principle and techniques so first what we will discuss so first what we will discuss here the shapes of the carbon compounds so we all know about the carbon has a tetravalency right so carbon always connect with four other different uh, other different group then then it is called as a carbon has a tetravalency so it can be explained by the electronic configuration and the hydride hybrid hybridization of s and p or y metal so we'll go one by one to that so first we'll take in some of the example of the kinds of uh, molecule is available in the uh, or the primarily available in the market that is the methane gas like ch4 we all know about the methane gas it's a highly pyrophoric uh, gas so this is the the molecule uh, contains ch4 so carbon contain four hydrogen molecule contained with the four hydrogen molecule then we'll go to the methane to ethene ethene or ethylene gas so ethylene also uh, is a gas mold gas so c2h4 where the carbon uh, so two carbon and the four hydrogen atom combine together and it will form the ethylene gas then we'll go to the ethane ethane that is also known as the acetylene okay c2h2 so that is c triple bond ch so in the first molecule so it is a only only sigma bond is there so what is sigma bond pi bond i will also discuss in this way so so in the next slide i will also uh, discuss what is sigma bond what is pi bond and what is triple bond okay so in the methane gas only sigma bond is available and the ethylene gas it is the double bondage one double bond is there one pi bond is there in the case of alkyne or ethyne gas there one triple bond is there for so in between this one triple bond one is pi bond and another one is the sigma bond so in the methane gas so for methane is the sp3 hybridized ethylene or ethene is the sp2 hybridized and the acetylene or ethyne is the sp hybridized so hybridization influence the bond length and bond enthalpy that is called the strain so enthalpy actually directly uh, directly proportional to the strain so suppose in 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 some of the bond enthalpy is more that means this bond strain is more that means to break this bond we need actually high energy so that that is directly directly proportional to the energy with enthalpy okay so first we will go to the sp hybrid hybrid orbital so sp means there will be more s character and more closure to its nucleus so when so the nucleus is perfectly s s character so, so when some of the orbital is close to the close proximity to the nucleus then that bond should be much more shorter compared to the other bonds like sp3 so in terms of the if we see the bond strength in the sp sp2 and sp3 so in the case of sp the bond strength is higher because which has the sp hybridized molecule has the more s character and uh, compared to sp2 and the sp2 has the more s character compared to sp3 so as i as i said earlier that which molecule which hybridized molecule has a which hybrid orbital has a more s character which has the bond strength bond strength will be more compared to the other so that is why sp hybrid hybrid orbital has a more bond strength compared to sp2 and sp3 is the less bond strength less bond strain that means we need less energy to break the sp3 bond compared to sp bond okay now coming to the bond length bond length mean show which has the actually more s character that is actually more shorter or more closer to the nuclear so that means sp3 is the more less s character more p character is p3 as you can see p3 that means p orbital is more s character s character is less so that means bond length in the case of sp3 bond length will be more compared to sp2 and sp is the shorter with the shorter bond length now coming to the electronegativity always remember in the case of which which orbital has a which hybrid orbital has 
more is character that means this hybrid orbital is the electronegativity is will be more so that means sp hybrid orbital has the more electronegativity compared to the sp2 and compared to the sp3 now coming to the some characteristics features of pi bonds so in pi bond formation parallel orientation of two or p orbital is necessary for a proper sideways overlap so how the pi bond is forming actually so pi bond means there will be one means two sigma bond will be there so how the overlapping happens in the case of pi bond so two orbital pi orbital come closer and come closer and there will be a proper sideways overlapping that's why in that way pi bond formation happens okay now i'll go to the second slide where is uh, okay so in the second slide if you see the second slide so structural presentation of organic compound okay so structural presentation of organic compounds is the lewis structure one is the lewis structure second one is the uh, second one is the second one is the dash structure and the third one is the condensed structure fourth one is the bond line structure and the these are called the structural formula so structural formula if you see the single dash that means single bond single double dash that means the double bond and a triple dash that means triple bond so now if you see the complete structural formula like ethane okay so let's say if we draw these things okay so so like uh, if you see the ethane molecule okay ethane so if you see the ethane molecule so how the ethane molecule look like actually c c c sigma bond and here three hydrogen will be here in all the carbon atom contain three hydrogen molecule okay so here each one hydrogen here is one hydrogen and here is another hydrogen molecule so in same way this carbon also contain three hydrogen molecule okay so that is called the ethane ethane means only the sigma bond present and in the case of methane so when only one carbon is present that is called methane when it is a two carbon that is called ethane when it is a ethane mean acetylene okay first we'll go to the how the uh, methane structure looks like okay see one hydrogen above and three pyramidal hydrogen will be there three pyramidal hydrogen is there so that is called the methane that is actually methane okay that is the structure of methane now i'll discuss about the ethane so what is the ethane ethane actually it is also known as the uh, uh, acetylene acetylene how acetylene looks like the structure if you see the structure so c triple bond c c triple bond c and one hydrogen is present here so that is called the ethane ch triple bond c now we will discuss about some other structural isomers like okay this is the complete structural formula of the suppose uh, in the exams uh, sometimes it asks like that so suppose the molecule is given c2a6 can you draw the structural formula of the structural formula of the ethane so c2a6 then you need to draw this one ch3 single bond ch3 then you have to show in this way suppose they have given methane then you have to draw ch4 four hydrogen will be available now it is suppose let's say ethane so ethane means c triple bond c a in this way we have to write okay now i'll coming to the another part of the the that is the condensed structure so suppose if in the exam so if they ask the ch3 ch2 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 whole for ch3 so that means ch2 in between in between two ch3 there is total uh, how many ch2 is there total six so if they ask the condensed structure of this molecule then you have to write this one so ch3 ch2 whole six and ch3 so instead of like ch2 ch2 uh, written in a six time you can just put a bracket here and close it close the bracket and you just put the six 
and you can write in this way condensed structure. Now is the bond line structure. So if they will ask you, they can you draw a bond line structure of this formula? So they will maybe they will give you. So how many carbon you can see? One and six, seven and eight. So here, let's say suppose they will give you this kind of bond line structure is this one in uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Suppose six, seven, C seven, and a hydrogen is three, two, two, four, four, three, seven, seven, eight, yeah, eleven, and thirteen and fourteen. Suppose each fourteen. So now suppose they will ask you. So can you draw the bond line structure of this one? Then you have to write in this way, like CH three, CH two, CH CH three. Like this is a bond, right? Bond, right? So that is why this is known as the bond line structure. If they will ask you, so can you write this one uh, in a bond line structure way? Then suppose they will give this formula. Then they will ask you to write the bond line structure. Then you have to write in this way. So CH three, CH two, CH CH three, CH two, CH two, then CH three. Suppose they will ask you in the cyclic compound. So they give they will give this compound only cyclopropane. And if they ask you to write in the cyclic compound, then you have to write in this way CH two. Okay, CH two. So then you have to write in this way. So because there is no space, so that is why I couldn't able to write. So even you can see here. So I have already written CH two, CH two, CH two. You have to write in this way. Okay, then okay, I'll zoom it. So now, if you see the uh, in the cyclic compound, suppose they will ask you, they will give you this uh, cyclopropane moiety. Now they will ask you to draw this is in a cyclic mode, cyclic way. Then you have to write in this way CH two, CH two, CH two. Now suppose they will give you cyclopentane. So cyclopentane that means CH two CH two so five CH two is there and you have to write in this way so CH two CH two CH two CH two CH two so this is a cyclic compound right so they will if they will ask you to if suppose they will give this question so suppose they put this uh, uh, the structure and they will ask you to write in this way so then you have to write in this way so because there is one carbon that that means one carbon bond. Here it is, and here it is. So total carbon content only the carbon can only have a four bond. So that means there will be definitely two hydrogen will be present here, right? In the all the cases, the same way in all the carbon contents two hydrogen because already carbon already occupied two arm with the other carbon atom, other carbon. So that means only CH two CH two is present. Okay, in this way you can in this way it is very simple. The cyclic compound. Now we'll go to the classification of some organic compounds. Okay, so so classification of organic compounds. So these all, all are things are coming from the organic molecules only. So if they if we divide it, if we classify the organic compound in a two way, one is the acyclic or open chain, and then the second one is the cyclic or closed system or closed chain chain. So acyclic and open chain. I will go one by one, and the cyclic or closed system that will also divided in the two way. One is the homo, homo cyclic, and the heterocyclic. So now we will go to the example one by one. So then again the homo cyclic. One is the aliphatic cycle, and another one is the aromatic. So again, this ben aromatic system also can be divided by two way. One is the benzenoid. Uh, and another one is the non-benzenoid compound. Okay, like heterogeneous compound, non-benzenoid compounds. Okay, so homocyclic compound is the two way. We can, we can divide it in the two way. One is the alicyclic, or you can say is the aliphatic. Aliphatic system. Okay, aliphatic. This is also uh, called aliphatic system. Aliphatic. This is also called aliphatic. So now we'll come to the functional group. So what are the functional group present in organic compound? So key, what are what are the or uh, functional group present? So now coming to the CH three, CH CH three, CH two, CH two, CHBr, CHOH, and CH three. 
So I have taken one example where so different different kinds of functional group present. So one functional group you can see the branch. This is a branch molecule. This is also a alkyl functional group. Alkyl, alkyl. This is called alkyl, alkyl functional group. So bromine. This is also a functional group. This is also this is called as a halogen halogen functional group. Halo functional group. This is belongs to halogen family. Okay, because we know that if we see anywhere bromine, chlorine, iodine, or fluorine compound is there attached to the carbon carbon, then you can say it is also act as a one functional group. Another functional group is the bromine. So one functional group is the CH three and the Br and also OH. If you see any OH, OH also ref, uh, directly reflects to the the molecule. You can say is the alcohol. So molecule contains. If you see any molecule contains OH, aliphatic system, not the aromatic system. The what is aliphatic, aromatic? I will come to this. So first, if you see any non-cyclic system like this way, branch no uh, branch system. It, It is available. It is okay. But if you see any acyclic system and it contains OH group, then you can say directly this is a al alcohol moiety. So alcohol group, alcohol organic compound contains one bromine, one OH, and one CH3. So three different different kinds of three different kinds of functional group present in here. Now we will go to the some of the question and answer. So before I go to the question answer, I want to discuss. So as you can see here, so here it is a One is the aromat. Uh, so this is the alicyclic compound. Okay. So alicyclic or aliphatic compound. So these are all aliphatic. Why aliphatic? Why this the whole molecule is known as the aliphatic? Because you, you cannot see any other aromatic group present here. Okay. So la first I will give you one example of the aromatic compound. So what is aromatic compound? Aromatic compound means so there will be a six member cyclic system. Not only not did uh, not uh, always you need to six member. But I will prefer I will go to one six member benzene ring. There are also some molecule which is not uh, six member, but a heterocyclic ring also there. I will not go to that much deep on first lecture. So you can see there is a one C six H six right. So if you see carefully, so total. Sorry, so total here it is total total six carbon is present here. Okay. Total six carbon, six carbon, six hydrogen. Okay, so now you can see the the, the molecular structure. Molecular structure. If you if you write the molecular formula, so that is a C six and A six. Okay, so C six A six is what this is called. Actually, this molecule name is the benzene. What is this benzene? Benzene. Although it is a liquid, but always remember benzene is a carcinogen. Like. Whenever, if you go in in future, if you go to the laboratory chemistry laboratory, and if you have to use this benzene molecule, benzene chemical, then you have to be very careful during using this kind of molecule, uh, this benzene, because this is a carcinogenic. Okay, so I'll not go to that part. So what I want to say here is that you can see the homocyclic is the so one is the aliphatic system. So that I already told you. And the another one is the aromatic system. So this is the aromatic compound. I have given one example of the benzenoid system. Or if you see the non-benzenoid system, non-benzenoid system, that means it is not benzene, but you can uh, the aromatic compound already there. The aromaticity it is there. So th that is called the aromatic. Aromatic group means the molecule contains. So this is a pyridine. This is called pyridine. So that is a non-benzenoid. Pyridine. So, what is the difference between benzene and pyridine? So, benzene in the case of benzene, there is a C six A six, but but here C six not C six C five H five N because one carbon is in the replaced by nitrogen. So that is why that is called as the one is the benzenoid species. That is the benzenoid species. Okay, and one is the non benzenoid species. That is the pyridine molecule. Now. Coming to the first the question answer, whatever we have learned here, we will discuss some of the uh, question and answer. I will also give you the solution here, so that so whatever we have learned, can we correlate all these things? So now we go to the what are the hybridization states of each. I have I 
I have taken some of the example where I will also discuss what is the what are the hybridization available and what are the sigma bond, what is the lone pair, how many lone pair is there, how many sigma bond is there, how many pi bond is there. I will discuss everything here. Okay, in on question and session. So, so the question is what are hybridization states? What are the hybridization state in what are the hybridization state in uh, what are the hybridization state in uh, what are the what are hybridization states of each carbon atom in the following compound so first compound we will take the first compound so ch2 double bond c double bond o okay so first we will start from here actually one two we will actually we are not going to the nomenclature but first i will start from the terminal one so one two so this is also carbon content two double bond two two bond two bond so one five one is there. So that means you can you can blindly you can also say this carbon is the sp two hybridized. Okay, but this carbon contain two pi bond. Why? So one pi bond is coming here, another pi bond is coming here. So that is why this is a sp hybridized. This carbon is sp hybridized. This carbon is sp two hybridized. Okay. So hybridization equals to what? So how we can say this is a what is hybridization? How we can calculate? So hybridization. Equals First to total sigma bond plus lone pair. If the two sigma bond is there, if there is sp three sigma bond is there, sp two four sigma bond is there. That means sp three. Okay, so two sigma bond is there. Why? So one pi bond contained one sigma bond, one pi bond. So this carbon contained two pi bond, two pi bond, two sigma bond. So that is why this carbon is sp two sp hybridized. So three sigma bond. Where it is three sigma bond? One is coming from here. And two sigma bond is here, so that is why it is a sp2 hybridized. Okay, and the sp2 hybridized. Now I will I will discuss about the second example that is a CH3 CH double bond CH2. So one, two, three. So first we'll go to the carbon number one. So one contain only the three sigma bond. So three sigma bond that means sp2, right? So first C sp C1 is the sp2, correct? The second sigma, second example is the C2. C2 also contains one sigma bond, one sigma bond, and C8 sigma bond. So total three sigma bond. So that means this is also sp2. Now it will come into the here, this carbon, C3. So C3 contains four sigma bond. How? One, two, three, and four. So four sigma bond, that means sp3 hybridized. Okay. Now we will go to the third example, right? Third example, what is third example? So CH3, CO, CH3. So this contains Four sigma bond. So that means C1 is the sp3 hybridized. Okay. Now go to the C2. C2 is the one sigma bond, one pi bond, and the two sigma bond. So total three sigma bond. Three sigma bond. C2 is sp2. Now this one, this carbon and this carbon is same. So C1 and C2, C3 both are sp3 hybridized. Okay. Now I am going to the fourth example. That is CH2 double bond CHCl. Okay. So CH2 double bond CHCl. So C3, so C3 is the, C3 content, how many sigma bond? So one bond, one bond here, one bond here, and one, uh, the pi bond, the I already told you, if, if you anywhere, if you see the pi bond, so one is the pi bond, one is, uh, one is the, yeah, one is the pi bond, and one is the sigma bond. Okay, so sigma bond, that means C3 contains three sigma bond. C3 sigma bond, that means SP2, uh, this one, C2, C2 also contain 1, 2, 3. 3 sigma bond, that means sp2. And this carbon contain how many sigma bond? 2 sigma bond. So 1 is coming from here and 1 is coming from here. So that means 2 sigma bond, that means C1 is sp hybridized. Okay. Now, we will go to the for example. Now, uh, the last example is the C6A6. And I already uh, discussed this is the C6A6. So if you see the in all the carbon content double bond, that means all are sp2 hybridized. Why? So let's say for an example, if we consider only one carbon here, so one carbon content one sigma bond here, one sigma bond here, one sigma bond hydrogen. So that means three sigma bond. So three sigma bond and all already I told you, if you see anywhere three sigma bond is present, then the, uh, the, the carbon atom is definitely it will be sp2 hybridized. Okay. Now indicate the sigma and pi bond in the following in the following compound. <coughs> so if you see the the first example is the C6A6. 
So C C C C. So what is C C C C? So I have drawn there. So C C C C means one C double bond. One double bond is there. So that means one sigma bond, one pi bond. So one sigma bond. That means that is the sigma bond. C C A sigma bond. This is C C sigma bond. So C C double bond is there. So one one will be sigma, one will be pi. And here the C H is there. So one is sigma bond, one is sigma bond, and this is also C H sigma bond, and one two uh, two. Double bond is there, so one is sigma, one is pi. So in this way, if you see the total number of sigma bond is a C C sigma bond is a six sigma bond, and total number of six sigma C H sigma bond and three pi bond. C C double bond is a total three, one two three three pi bond. Now I will go to I am going to the second example that is the C six H twelve. So what is C six H twelve? So where C C H twelve there will be no such double bond. So that means every carbon contains four sigma bond. Okay, now So how many carbon is present here? One, two, three, four, five, six. So total six bond is present here. Okay, total six bond is present here. So that means six C C carbon bond present here. Now total how many C H sigma bond is present here? So one carbon contain two C H sigma bond. So that means uh, six carbon is there. So that means twelve C H sigma bond present in this molecule. Now we we'll discuss the third example is the C H two C L two. Now we will go to the different example. Why? Because uh, the first example, second example, we only discuss about the CH bond, CH molecule, CH contain molecule. Now we will discuss another uh, another molecule which contains two chlorine atom and two CH two atom, two hydrogen atom. So that means two. How many CH sigma bond is present here? Two. How many C carbon chlorine sigma bond present here? So that means also two. One is from here. One is from here. So the whole molecule contains two sigma C H bond, two carbon chlorine sigma bond. Okay. Now we'll go to the fourth example of this one, question and succession. So C H two double bond C double bond C H two. Now if you see the whole molecule, so we'll go to the first one. So carbon contains one hydrogen, one hydrogen, and the one double bond. So double bond means one is the pi bond, one is the pi bond. And another one is the sigma bond, right? So that means three sigma bond, okay? And the and uh, three sigma bond and one pi bond. In the same way, this carbon also contains two double bond. So that means two pi bond and two sigma bond. And this carbon terminal one contains two sigma bond CH and uh, one sigma carbon bond. So if we, if somebody asks that how many in the whole molecule, how many CC? Sigma bond present here. So if you see the C C sigma bond present, one is sigma bond here and another one is sigma bond here. So total two carbon carbon sigma bond present here. Now if somebody ask you that if how many C A sigma bond present here? So one, one, two, three, four. So total four C A sigma bond present here. Now if you see the how many if they ask you how many C C carbon pi one pi one available here, so that there will be. So as you can see, the two double bond is there. So two double bond that means two pi one is available. So one is from here, another one is from here. So that is the two pi two carbon carbon pi one is available here. Now we will go to the fifth example. That is the C H three N O two. Now the in the previous example what we discussed. The chlorine, uh, the chlorine is attaching to the carbon atom. But here we will see the carbon is attaching to the NO2 group. So NO2 means N and two oxygen. So how? And then we will discuss here how many C A sigma bond is present, how many C N bond present, how many N O bond present. So as you can see, I have already drawn the molecule. Okay. So C H three N O two. So the molecule is C H three N O two. So carbon contain carbon contain actually how many C H bond? So one bond here, okay, sigma bond, one bond here and one bond here. So total three C H bond present here and one N O two group present here. That means C N bond, okay. So C N sigma bond present here and the N O bond is the one is the pi bond, one is the double bond is present here. That means one is the pi bond, another one is the sigma bond, okay. So here 
what you can see uh, the one is the so if they ask that how many sigma c is one present here then you can say clearly that c is three c, uh, sigma c is one present here and how many sigma n o one present here so that is one sigma one n o one present here and how many pi n o one present here so only one pi one available here and this is the coordination mode this is actually coordination mode this is the actually coordination mode okay now we'll go to the last example of the in this molecule how many sigma one this question jason so if we can see the c h o n h c h 3 so here this is an interesting molecule so if you see the c h 3 contain c h total three sigma bond is present here c h 3 molecule this part then nitrogen is conjugate nitrogen is connected with carbon atom so then one c n bond and another c n bond so two c n bond is present here so if they ask you how many sigma c n bond present here so one is from here another one is from here if they ask you how many pi c o bond present here you can also say that is also one only present and if they ask you how many c h bond present here so three is from c h 3 and another one is from here the total four c c m bond is present if they ask you how many n h c m bond present here you can see one hydrogen is there so that means one n h proton is one n h c m bond is present here okay now if the right bond line formula for the isopropyl alcohol 2 3dimethyl butanal and the heptane fluoron okay isopropyl alcohol so isopropyl alcohol mean ch3 this is the bond line formula this is the bond line formula of this one okay the ch3 ca ch3 oh this is the bond line formula and this is the isopropyl alcohol molecule structure ch3 ch oh ch3 now Uh, coming to the two three dimethyl butanal, two three dimethyl butanal will CH three CH CH three CH CH three CHO, and another one is that this is the bond line structure of this one. So in the bond line structure, that means suppose anywhere CH two or C H is present, you don't need to write even there. Okay, then then you don't need to write in this C H or C H. You can directly written in this way. The people can understand here it is hydrogen is present one one hydrogen present here. And one hydrogen present here. Why? Because this carbon center contains three carbon already occupied. One is from here, another one is from here, another one is from here. So already three bond is occupied. So this carbon only left only one proton set, one hydrogen molecule. So that is why you don't need to even write that uh, what is the structure of this one. What is the uh, means? You don't need to even show that uh, where. You don't need to even show that uh, here hydrogen is present or not. If if you draw in this, uh, people can understand easily that this is the this is my actually the bond line formula of the uh, two 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 three dimethyl butanal butanal. Uh, and uh, again, you will you have to understand this is the butanal. So always remember these things. So whenever you see any molecule, if you see the null, null means uh, there will be definitely one. Aldehyde functional group. So what is aldehyde? So this is the aldehyde functional group. C H O. Okay, C H O. C H O is the another functional group and the aldehyde functional group. You can see here one C H O is present. See C H O is present here. Okay, that is why it is showing the alcohol. Like I previously I told you, if you see any molecule O H group is present, then you can say alcohol. See this is the this is called isopropyl alcohol. That is why it is. So in the alcohol, and here it is the aldehyde. Why aldehyde? You cannot say in this way. The IBC name you have have to written in this way. Al. The aldehyde is there. That means al. That is butane, and that is why it is known as the butanal. And going to the sixth example of this one. So if you see the sixth example of our molecule, so which contain the heptane fluoron. Heptane fluoron means the heptane fluoron means first we will write the Heptane. Heptane means how many carbon? So one, two, three, four, five, six, and seven. Right. So seven, seven. That means heptane and four on. On means so there is also one functional group that is on. That is why it is written as a on. Four on. 
four on four on means in the four carbon uh, whenever you will start whatever from where you will start the from carbon one to carbon four number of carbon four there will be c double bond o bond there will be c double bond o bond will be present definitely there will be present of the c double bond o so now we count we start the count from the one one two three and four so in the four carbon there is the ketone group is present now as i already told you that you don't need to even show where is the ch2 group you don't need to write h2 h2 ch ch3 even if you write in this way ch3 that is even known as the ch3 ch2 ch2 co ch2 ch2 ch3 so if in the exam hall if they ask this kind of question you can easily prepare for this kind of molecule so let's say this is a 4 on heptan 4 on so if if i will ask you the can you write the structure of the heptan 2 on heptan heptan 2 on okay so heptan 2 on means so you do, you need to write in this way. first you write the six carbon okay so 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 okay so 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 so 7 is already here then you have to erase one carbon no only so 1 2 3 4 4 is there that will 5 6 so 1 2 3 4 5 6 and there is a 7 now 2 on so now if you start from here so 2 on on means carbonyl group c double bond o so that means two position there will be one carbonyl group okay now the heptan 4 on 2 on is done now if we ask the 5 bond 5 bond or the 5 bond 6 on is the same wherever you start the 5 bond means the same so if they ask you 2 on and 4 on then this is something interesting right so if you see this kind of molecule so one molecule also contain two ketone right this is also called ketone why ketone if you see any molecule contain carbonyl group then you can easily say this is a 10 2,4 diene okay 2,4 diene now if you see the 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 right so 2 and 4 2 and 4 will in a two position on carbonyl group is present here and in a four position two three four position another carbonyl group is present here so that is called the heptan 2 4 diene now if we ask if somebody ask you that can you draw the uh, one octanol one octanol so let's say if it is a one octanol right one octanol one octanol one octanol that means one octanol first you write four octanol eight carbon octan octan means eight carbon 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 now what they said one octanol one octanol means in the case of this one in the one position there will be oh you understand Uh, if they ask you the one octanol this is octanol if they ask you the one octanol one octanol then how we will write one octanol one octanol one octanol means there will be one ch group okay whenever nol that means oh group whenever al that means ch group so 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 and this is a ch group right so 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 one octanol okay now this is the octanol moiety then uh, maybe tomorrow uh, no, maybe the next class we will discuss about some interesting fact some interesting uh, uh, lecture that is based on the stereochemistry maybe maybe today time will not permit all this, this thing
so maybe the next lecture the lecture 2 uh, lecture 2 we can uh, continue with some of the interesting things so i was thinking about nomenclature of the organic compounds and uh, nomenclature we will go to the nomenclature first then we will go to the isomerism and, and uh, different kinds of isomerism is present also there so we will discuss uh, very explain in very uh, very briefly because uh, in one hour it is not possible for everything cover so we'll discuss in the next class okay bye thank you